Hi. In this video, we'll be going through an introduction to one of the most important parts of web development, and that is the language HTML. So here's a question. Have you ever wondered how exactly web pages are made? You probably view several websites a day on the internet, but have you ever wondered what goes into making these web pages behind the scenes? Well, introducing HTML. HTML is the language for building web pages. So why learn HTML? Well, HTML lets us build our own web pages. When we build our own web pages, we can easily share our ideas and creations with the entire world. Web pages have become an incredibly valuable resource in our society for spreading information, spreading ideas, for artists to share their creations, for groups to get together and organize. Web pages are the new way information is shared between people. If you think about it, Facebook, Google, CodeHS, this very website that you're viewing this video on right now, every single web page on the internet, all of them are built with HTML and all of them were built by people who learned HTML. No one started off knowing HTML, they had to learn it. So that's what we're gonna do today, is learn HTML so we can start building our very own web pages. Furthermore, what's incredible about HTML is that once you make a single HTML document, maybe your webpage.html, any browser on any device is able to take that HTML document and display a beautiful web page from it. it doesn't matter if someone's on a phone, on a tablet, on a computer, it doesn't matter if they're using Chrome or Firefox, whatever browser they're using, they'll be able to view your web page. Now, a browser is simply an application on a computer that can take an HTML document and display it as a web page. Today, we'll be learning about how to make this part. How do we make the HTML document that turns into the web page? Well, let's start with breaking down this HTML. What exactly is HTML? Well, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And that's a lot of weird words. Let's, let's break this down. What exactly are these words? So hypertext simply means text that's displayed on a computer that has links to other hypertext documents, also known as hyperlinks. Now this is an incredible part of HTML is that an HTML document is not a standalone document on its own, like a page from a book. Instead, HTML documents are interconnected and you can easily transfer between them by clicking on these hyperlinks. So it used to be that if you're reading a document and you want to get some more information, you have to track down the book, track down the chapter, find the paragraph that the information's held in. But now with HTML, you can just link straight to that information. So for example, if I click this hyperlink here, this will actually take me straight to the page, the Wikipedia page for hyperlinks, and I can learn more about this. I didn't have to track down this page to learn more. I had a link that took me right there. So that's what hypertext refers to. Now what about markup language? Well, markup language simply means a language that lets you annotate normal text to define how it should be displayed. Markup language marks up standard text to provide some further information. So how exactly does HTML mark up the text of a web page? Well, introducing HTML tags. HTML tags mark up the text of a document in order to tell the browser how that text should be displayed. So HTML is made up of several tags that can decorate or mark up the standard text of a document in order to tell the browser how that text should be displayed. So at the core of it, HTML is really just normal text plus these markup tags. So what do HTML tags look like? Well, they're enclosed in angle brackets. You can see there, that's an example of an HTML tag. They are not actually displayed on the resulting web page. They're only found in the HTML document, not on the final web page. And they inform the browser about how certain text should be displayed. So let's look at our first HTML tag, and that is the H1 tag. So as you can see, tags start and end with angle brackets. We have the opening angle bracket and the closing angle bracket and the name of the tag goes in between these angle brackets. So this is an H1 tag. The name of the tag is H1. Now when we use these tags, we need both an opening tag and a closing tag. And the opening tag looks exactly like the closing tag, except that the closing tag has a backslash right before the tag name. Now in between the opening and closing tag, we have the actual text or the content on the web page that is affected by the tag. So here, the hello will be affected by the H1 tag. It's decorated with H1. Let's see what this looks like in the editor. So here we have the CodeHS code editor. This is where we will be writing and running our programs throughout the entire course. So our goal in this program is to make an HTML page that says hello. First, I'm going to collapse the sidebar to give us a little bit more room. You can click this blue arrow just to get rid of that sidebar. Now we have a bit more space to code. And notice we can code either using our blocks or we can switch to code view to actually type out the code we want to write. Um, I will be doing blocks for this video. So over here, 
are all the blocks that we have at our disposal. These are all HTML tags that we can use on our web pages. You can click around in all the different sections to view the different types of blocks we can use. Um, and we'll be talking about each of these throughout the videos. But right now, let's just deal with the H1 tag because that's all we've talked about so far. So to make my web page, I'm going to drag out the H1 tag. And inside of it, I'm going to write, hello. Now to see the resulting web page, I'm going to click Run Code. And there we go. We can see that this is a web page that says, hello. I can clear it. And to see the HTML in a new window, I simply click this link here. And there we go, we open up a new window, and this is my web page. This is the result of this HTML code. We can see the code here, and let's see what happens if we take off the H1 tag and we just say hello. So here we see that the text looks a little bit different. If we add around the hello an H1 tag, we're actually marking it up or decorating it to tell the browser, hey, I want it to be, be displayed big and bold. So that's our first tag, the H1 tag, and this is our first HTML page. Now it's your turn.